Hey party people, today we are making this little minimalistic leather necklace, so let's make it. I am a really lazy person, so if there's any DIY project that takes me way too much time or has too many steps, I'm not doing it. So this project won't take you very long, probably three minutes, and it's going to be adorable. We're going to wear it every single day. So what we need is some unfinished leather, and really you could use anything. You're just going to punch two holes and stir it on a chain, so be creative. Um, I have some unfinished leather that I'm going to dye with some olive oil. I have some gold chain and all these supplies you guys can find in the comments below. I have some leather scissors, needle nose pliers, and four jump rings and a necklace binding hook. And that's it. I've taken my chain and I've doubled it up and cut it at 18 inches and you could do whatever length you'd like. I'm going to take this chain since it's already doubled up and I'm going to cut it halfway because I'm going to be connecting two ends to the leather. Let's see if I can get it. Alright. Now I'm going to take my scrap leather and I'm going to cut it to a small rectangle and play around with shapes. This is all you, so you can do whatever you want. I'm going to dye it with some olive oil. So I'm just taking a Q-tip with some olive oil and look how much that changes the color. And you want to let it dry unless you want to be super oily, which to each their own, I guess. All right, I'm going to do the sides a little bit too to darken those up. It's natural leather. You could also use leather stain, but I wanted to make this completely out of the pantry DIY. My husband does leather working, so he has some of this stuff already. All right, and you want to make sure it's pretty even so it doesn't look like you have um, oil drops everywhere. So that's nice and dark. It will lighten up just a little bit. I'm going to put this on a wood block and I'm going to punch two holes, one on each end, and this is where uh, a jump ring is going to go. So I'm going to put it close enough to the edge, right in the middle, and poke all the way through to make sure that a jump ring can fit through it. Another one on the other end. And make sure it goes all the way through. All right. All right, so I have two holes. Now I'm going to take my jump rings, and since my fingers are super slippery, this might be kind of tricky. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to put the jump ring through the hole, and I'm also going to attach my chain to the jump ring. already tell that the leather is lightening up. It's starting to soak in some of that. All right, since I'm at it already, I'm going to take the chain and I'm going to put it through that jump ring before I close it up. All right, I have the chain and I have the leather on the jump ring and I'm simply going to close it. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to take the other chain, open up the second jump ring, strand it through the hole just like I did on the other side. Maybe. There we go. It smells like olives in here. Alright, put the second chain also on that jump ring. Close it up. You could also do the olive oil on the back side, which I probably will do anyway. You could also use leather as diffuser jewelry. You have to be careful though, because sometimes if you put too much oil on it, it soaks through just like olive oil will. All right, so there is kind of the starting of my necklace, and all I have left to do is attach two jump rings and then the necklace binding. Open up this jump ring. it on there. Honestly, this is probably the hardest part. Like my little tattoo. The student gave that to me. Fancy. Alright, I'll close that one. That's where the closure will go to. I'm going to put a jump ring on this side. And this is where the necklace closure will also hook up to.
telling you guys, it's tricky. It's hard. Get it, get it, get it. Go. Get in the hole. Got it. Okay. Put the closure on there. Close it up. Maybe. Gosh, I suck at this. Sweet. Got it. There's your necklace. Let me go ahead and finish this part. See, this cake. Boop, 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 boop. There she is. Party, party, party. See, I told you guys that was easy. Now you can go make like 20 of them for all your friends. And if you just have one friend like me, that's okay. I won't judge you. But make sure you like this video, subscribe, and check out my Instagram for other DIY projects. We'll see you next time. Peace.